Hey everyone, do you, like me, have Philips Hue lights? And sometimes, pulling your phone out and pushing all those buttons just to turn off your lights is too much of a hassle. So that's why I bought an Amazon Alexa to turn off my lights. But sometimes, I don't even want to use my voice. So that's why I made this. And what it does is when you push this button, well, when you hold down this button, the lights turn off. And when you hold it down again, the lights will turn back on. I did this because, well, the switches for the Hue can sometimes be expensive. Now, did I save money building this? Absolutely not. I'm going to show you how I made it. And, and then, uh, and then you're going to watch me build the, the outside here because I built the inside not on camera, but I got some schematics for it. It's really simple. It's really only an LED and a button. That's really it. And then I'll throw the code in the description because no one wants to go over code in a video. That's always really boring. So yeah, hope you enjoy balsa wood. Hey guys, I'm going to go over how I did the schematic for this. Uh, so first of all, this is a WSP8266 module. You can see it right here. I will link the two that I bought in the description and show here's the picture of it on that bought on Amazon. I think it was like two for $15. Pretty cheap. So what I did is I powered it with two AA batteries. Here's my AA batteries. And I use rechargeables, so it's 1.2 volts uh, plus, you know, 1.2. So I've got a total of 2.4 which does actually work. And this is hooked up, the ground is hooked up to, well, let me show you here. The ground, we're gonna be using the ground pin here and the 3-3, three, three, or you can use the ground and 3-3 three, three on the other side, 3-3 three, three ground. But you're gonna be using both sets of those if you use the LED like I did. So you got ground to ground, ground, and then I'll use red for the, you know, the power line or the positive. Goes to your momentary push button, and that will go to our three three. That'll give you power. And then on the other side, we'll have three three. I used a ten k resistor for a red LED which I know is much larger than you need, but it's really dim, which I'm telling myself saves power, saves battery, as long as there's an indicator for me that's good because this is all packaged up so I can't see. There's a little blue light right here that, that comes on when you power it on. And you can't see that when it's in the, contain, in the case. <clears throat> so what this does is when you push the button, you obviously you complete the circuit and it powers on. When it powers on, you know, it runs the code and that's going to turn your lights on and off and then it'll light up the LED so that you'll know that your batteries are still alive and that it's working. So yeah, sometimes you have to hold down the button to make sure the code gets submitted. So as long as this LED is on, I know that it's functioning properly. So yeah, that's that's the whole schematic. It's pretty simple, easy to do. And uh, yeah.
is a little update video. I've been using this for a while, well, like a week. And it was working fine, right? I put it in the balsa and the, the container, whatever, and it worked fine. Everything worked fine. Now, well, now watch. Nothing has changed in regards to my internet, my router configuration, the code on here. Okay, you can see only that top light turned off. Okay. Let's try again. Oh, okay, it turns back on. Great. Let's try again. Okay, just the top one. See, it's random. Sometimes two go, but not all three of them have worked. Okay, it's just doing the top one now. Not all three of them have worked in a while. It's super annoying. I have absolutely no idea what caused it. I restarted my router. I made sure the router <clears throat> reserved the IP address of this so there was no confusion in routing tables. I restarted the queue. I even tried different batteries because, as you know, I'm using these rechargeable ones. And rechargeable batteries are only right there, 1.2 volts, whereas normal AA's, I believe, are 1.5. So maybe there's some voltage drop or something. That's I, like I know with, uh, with 2.4 gigahertz you know, Wi-Fi signals, they you can decrease the range of them by lowering the voltage. You know that's how you know routers do that. Um, so maybe this lower voltage is causing a weak signal to go out and not fully sending all the commands. I'm really not sure. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But I've been trying to figure this out and I have no idea. I've pushed this button about a million times. See, it's not even working now. So you know, just like I said, this is balsa wood super flimsy like should not yeah you can see where i've cut into it a little but um shouldn't shouldn't block you know 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi signals at all you know which is what this chip in here you know is, is outputting so i don't know it's you know it was never too great before now it, now it doesn't even work so if you want to make this Please do and make it better, and then and then tell me. Tell me how to fix it, because it would be really cool to have a switch, but mine's not the best. So yeah, any suggestions would be great. Thanks.